I was just think I was just reading this article about uh, circuits. They're now able to be run without electricity, but instead using light. So you could shine a light on it, and you shine your ever loving light on me, um, and it'll cause the circuit to act. So basically, you could shine a light on something. And the circuit could go, and the music would start playing. Then you break the light, and the music would stop. That kind of interaction. And depending on how you shine the light on it, you can activate different circuits. Like if you use a 3D, these nano rods that they pass light through. The, the actual chemical, you can look it up, but I'll tell you in a second. It's like, uh, I don't know what is it? What kind of metal would they use? Silicon nitrate? you think it would be like silicon nano rods made of silicon nitrate enable, you know, but anyway, silicon nitrate, little nanodes, um, and you shine a light through it, and the actual silicon nitrate acts as a resistor and an inductor, and the space between them acts as a capacitor. So you can do different things, like you can you can have it run it through the the uh, well, I don't I like you calling it nickel. It's not nickel, sodium nitrate, um, silicon nitrate. You you can put the light through the silicon, get a parallel current, or you can run it like on it and off it and get a alternating current. Um, and then they say you can kind of like diffuse and have a little bit of light like on it and it causes stuff that you can't get in like regular electronics because electricity will go one way or the other. Light, however, is a little more ambiguous. So I was thinking like what possibilities for something with a technology like this? You know, obviously you shine a light on it and it starts playing music, but like you could, your eyesight I know it doesn't like shine light forward, so I don't know if you'd necessarily be able to activate circuitry by looking at it, but there's an energy that passes between you and whatever you're focusing on. It's maybe not light energy, you know, it's, it's probably a way lower frequency. But if we can slow down currents and have circuits of just different currents of energy, like, because electricity is like a really high wavelength, um, really fast wavelength. So you slow it down and it becomes light, and then you slow that down and it becomes sound. Um, so obviously sound, you'll be able to activate circuits with sound. Um, so it's basically just about getting it small enough and making small enough nanodes. Cutting it in half, and then cutting it in half again, and then half again. Keep those electron microscopes going.